Hi and welcome to our channel. The popular cryptocurrency Ethereum will switch to the proof-of-stake model over the next few months, which is expected to reduce the network's power consumption by an impressive 99.95% according to the Ethereum Foundation block. But most importantly, this transition promises positive changes for gamers as the use of video cards for cryptocurrency mining will become meaningless. In this video, we will tell you more about proof-of-stake mining algorithm and how it works. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like it. The essence of the proof-of-stake mining algorithm is to verify the fidelity of a transaction by taking into account the final share of funds that reside in the user's personal wallet. If we look at it from the technical point of view, such mining will be profitable for those who have a larger amount of coins. The application of this algorithm implies that all cryptocurrency tokens will already be on the market at the time of the official opening of the project. This makes commercial mining of coins practically impossible. Platforms that operate on the basis of POS use blockchain to solve individual problems arising in the market. Many tech and financial projects use this particular algorithm. This also applies to payments systems. System participants use tokens to pay fees, services and other purposes. Existing cryptocurrencies functioning on the algorithm are successfully placed on exchanges and serve for investments. Proof-of-stake is mainly used by blockchain projects that offer their own coins to users. The main task of POS is to hash information about the transactions that users make. This is required to verify the correctness of the transaction. After confirmation, the chain is updated. Hashing refers to processes where a larger number of tasks are solved. This creates a huge load on the computer. The number of tasks set, as well as the time to complete them, shows the complexity of the operation. This is the main indicator of mining efficiency. The overall indicators of the level of complexity and the performance of the equipment used demonstrate the payback of cryptocurrency mining. All nodes have their own level of complexity. You can check all this with special crypto calculators before starting work. The average level of complexity of proof-of-stake coins mining is inversely related to the number of coins that user has. For example, the pool for mining cryptocurrency was created by the developers themselves, which allowed them to take possession of 55% of all coins. This ensures minimal complexity of miners in this project, which in turn provides a high probability of predicting who exactly will open a new block. If you compare it to its direct competitor, the proof-of-work algorithm, there is no load on the power of of the miner's computer. This is the reason why participants of the system are called foragers. They will receive remuneration in the form of a certain percentage of the commission for performing the procedures. The amount of profit is calculated based on the age of the coin. To calculate this indicator, the total number of coins is taken and multiplied by the time they are held by one user. The introduction of the algorithm is due to the need to improve the energy efficiency of currency extraction. If previously users had to buy modern equipment to work, as well as spend on electric power, now all this has become superfluous. Forgers are required to have a lot of coins in their account, which removes random people from the market. Chaotic switching from one currency to another is not welcome here, as is often seen among investors and miners in the proof-of-work blockchain. This creates a long-term interest of the owners in the development of the project. They are engaged in promoting the direction and attracting new users. Unlike POW, here is guaranteed protection from attack by attackers, who can seize 51% of the capacity. In this situation, they would have to buy all these coins, which makes no sense for their actions. All cryptocurrency is already on the market. It is worth noting that proof-of-stake, based on its principle, gradually leads to the centralization of the system. Large owners of the coins conduct procedures as profitable as possible for themselves, which helps to influence the rate of currency in the direction that is interesting to them. Newcomers buy cryptocurrency at a high cost, and because of the small number of assets, their reward is minimal. This algorithm was first mentioned in 2011. At that time, the developers Needle and King were dealing with the issues of reducing energy consumption when mining cryptocurrency. The discussion was actively conducted during the forum, which was devoted to cryptocurrency. At the time, the operation of the blockchain cost the community about $15,000 
per day. The high energy cost of using the proof of work algorithm consisted of a large number of computational operations. Gradually, the load on the system grew, although the calculations did not have any practical value. All the costs were without any substantial justification, which forced the developers to seriously reconsider the algorithm. For this reason, they began to develop a different way of proving that the transaction was true, and that was proof of stake. In the new system, it was easier to predict who would open a new block, as they were large holders of coins and investors with seldom moved accumulations. The peer coin cryptocurrency code served as the first implementation of the new algorithm. The practical embodiment of high energy efficiency attracted the attention of electronic coin investors. This served as an impetus for the appearance of several more coins on the proof-of-stake algorithm. Among them, Blackcoin, Shadowcoin, NXT and others are worth mentioning. Initially, the logical structure of the algorithm protected the dominance of large coin owners. A large amount of cryptocurrency increases the chance of opening a new block, but coins are frozen for some time and cannot be used. At first, 3% of coin owners produced 4% of the blocks. The basis of the algorithm is to reduce the maximum number of checks to fix the truth of the block in the chain. A characteristic of the limit is the number of coins a participant keeps for a long time. Even with a high-power technique that can perform thousands of checks in one second, which would yield 10 electronic coins, a user with 5 coins would only be able to perform 5 operations in that time. This would provide him with 0.2 coins of profit. There is something in common between the POS and POW principle. Individual nodes perform hashing of the incoming stream of information. They try to get a result that will be less than the previously set value. Only in this case, no centralized pools are doing the mining. This makes the market more homogeneous. When coins appear on the market all at once, it is more interesting for investors. They can be distributed to large purchases at once. The limit is provided for each currency separately and is determined based on the number of old users who have serious amounts of coins in their account. Thus, miners can get their profits without serious investment, because there is no real value of the cryptocurrency here, as in the previous mining algorithm. Rate jumps happen quite often. There are three main ways to make a prediction. They are as follows. A request for the actual balance of the wallet on the account is made. This method is used in the market and requires that the account owner is always present online. If there is no timely response to the request, the transaction is cancelled. Accounting for the age of coins, which is a more complex system, the supposed creators of the next block becomes those who hold assets in a given cryptocurrency for more than 30 days. This helps increase the rotation of the participants to encourage them to mine. As soon as the transaction is confirmed, the age of the coins goes to zero. Thus, you will again have to wait in line for about a month. Random selection. The system randomly chooses one of the users with the most coins. Sometimes, a form comes into play according to which a minimum hash of the participants is calculated. A user does not need to buy expensive hardware to mine with a proof-of-stake algorithm. All one needs to do is to follow five basic steps that will lead to a reward for opening a block. These steps include Determine the currency for further work. Because the mining algorithm has no physical production of currencies, the user needs to assess the current rates, the stability and development of the project, feedback from other users, and other information that would allow them to make the right choice. It is not uncommon for miners to deal with several promising coins at the same time. It is required to register wallets, which would be compatible with the selected types of coins. The optimal modern solution would be to open several types of wallets for storing cryptocurrency. It is better to store the main part of the funds on rarely used wallets. Funds for payment and turnover are better stored in other wallets. All these should be securely encrypted and protected. Multi-currency wallets are often poorly protected. Activating wallets and funding them with the required amount of cryptocurrency. There are several different strategies 
strategies for earning, which depend on the currency itself, its algorithm and other features. Installing clients to work with cryptocurrency. After that, you can already wait for the opening of new blocks, which will take about a day. Account registration and other connection processes take a lot of time, so you should not put them off. The software should be installed on a computer that can be left constantly on. Withdrawal of the received profit. Forgers get income as a commission for transactions. Naturally, this takes place in the original currency. It can be left as an investment or immediately withdrawn and exchanged for other funds. The main advantage for users is that there is no need to use powerful computer equipment. Coin mining can be conducted on ordinary personal computers. The main advantage leads to low electricity costs, which was a serious problem with POW mining. Users do not need to put additional boards, coolers, voltage stabilizers, and other types of equipment that contribute to the stable operation of power equipment. Modern four agers only need to have a powerful laptop or a personal computer, as well as constant access to the internet. Cryptocurrency is protected from inflation. Due to the known number of coins that are on the market, there is no need to create new coins, which would lead to a decrease in the rate. Fluctuations are only possible due to the dynamic changes in the exchange situation, which reduces the number of factors that negatively affect the rate of coins. There is a minimal amount of empty cryptocurrency with no substantial justification. The provision indirectly affects the value of energy, stabilizing this indicator. Users have a high level of involvement in the cryptocurrency mining process. Users need to buy large amount of coins to mine effectively. Having large assets, the investor becomes interested in the development and stability of the project. Members of the cryptocurrency community always support a new coin when it is launched. In theory, a miner can easily switch from one type of coin to another if he notices the unprofitability of the project. In practice, this will take a certain amount of time, which reduces the speed of this process. Also, the conversion will cause some losses when transferring funds, so it becomes unprofitable to switch often. This is a a promising algorithm which in the future may become the main algorithm of mining if mining with other algorithms becomes impossible. Increasing the power of the mining equipment will lead to the fact that all coins in even the most popular circuits will be mined, despite their complexity. Transactions would then only be possible via POS. There are quite a few cryptocurrencies on the market that run on a hybrid algorithm. Pure proof-of-stake is relatively rare because there are several drawbacks. One of the main ones is the unfair distribution of coins. The amount of reward for an open block is determined by whoever has the most of a particular kind of cryptocurrency. This does not allow for complete decentralization. It is most profitable to own cryptocurrency in a large volume, which leads to a monopoly of the market. Developers distribute the entire volume of money before it even enters the market. Early investors find themselves in the most favorable conditions, which does not attract new users. Large investors determine virtually all development prospects. There is the threat of an attack that will be instigated by the largest coin owners. If cryptocurrency is sold cheaply, coins can be bought in large quantities for a relatively small amount of money, gaining control over most of all assets in the system. This allows attackers to resort to various manipulations, the possibility of parallel transactions. There may be two users in the system whose parameters turn out to be identical. If the blocks are signed at the same time, both will turn out to be correct. Despite the existing disadvantages, the system still has prospects as the creators are upgrading and working on the bugs. At the moment, there are more than 60 types of cryptocurrencies that work on this algorithm. Not all of them have gained popularity and gained a strong position in the market. Peercoin. This is a very first coin developed by the proof-of-stake algorithm. It has been in existence since 2013. Initially, it worked only on one algorithm, but then the developers made it a hybrid one. This was caused by weaknesses in the system, which were compensated by an older and more proven algorithm. Initial token distribution was based on proof-of-work. Protection against monopoly is provided here through the use of the coinage system. Random blockchain checks are added here to detect parallel transactions. 
Black coin, one of the most prominent examples of coins that run solely on the proof of stake algorithm. The cryptocurrency appeared on the market in 2014. It involved an algorithm that prevented coins from being pre issued. The creator added a mechanism to fairly accrue tokens to users involved in the development of the system. A random check was also used here to protect against parallel transactions. In the latter version of the algorithm, it was removed. NXT This cryptocurrency operates on the standard proof of stake without any additions and changes. 1 billion tokens entered the market at once. All of them are distributed among users. Only the last 720 blocks are updated here, which creates protection against parallel transactions. Transactions are performed based on user profiles, which is different from standard scripts. This feature creates protection against unauthorized access, although it can cause disclosure of users' data. BitShares This cryptocurrency uses a modification of the proof-of-stake algorithm. The method used here is called confirmation of selected witnesses. A participant chooses which nodes will witness the fidelity of a block transaction. The weight of a particular word, as well as the right to choose, is determined according to the number of coins in the witness account. The entry is made by the winner of the word. The Network Characteristics Manager is also determined in the same way. If we consider the original algorithm, which was proposed in 2012 as an alternative to proof of work, it is rarely used in practice. At that time, the developers did not take into account the high probability of monopolization of the system. This led to the need to develop it and create hybrid variants. The main hybrid combinations were based on the fact that the features of POW and POS were present in one algorithm. The current situation in the cryptocurrency market provides opportunities for the algorithm to evolve in several directions. Unification is produced so that the technology used is suitable for all coins being issued. When the entire volume of tokens ends up on the market, then we need to work on a new protocol to support the functioning of the platform. Proof-of-stake modifications must be adapted to specific projects. To improve security conditions and overcome shortcomings, one of the directions of development is the formation of more complex hybrid algorithms. Platform developers are improving basic algorithms to reduce the risk of system centralization. Modern projects are often standardized under these very algorithm. In the future, it may become one of the main standards ensuring compatibility with many cryptocurrencies. Functional tokens are in high demand now, as they would otherwise be less profitable. Experts suggest that the most likely prospect for the development of this algorithm will be the use of a large number of its modifications. This will become especially relevant when standard coins become non-mining. An example of this is the attempt of Ethereum to switch to a new algorithm gradually moving away from the standard one. There are already several sustainable modifications on the cryptocurrency market right now. Proof of space represents obtaining a proof based on disk space. Proof of storage obtaining proofs based on the fact that there is a full volume of blocks. These examples are based on several different algorithms. As a rule, they are used in poorly distributed cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the channel for more videos.